welcome back to my channel i'm super excited for the month of october and to see what's in store for us guys um today i wanted to do a aries full moon check-in though so that we can get a sense of how this aries full moon is going to affect us it's so funny how we closed off the previous month september with a full moon and then transitioning into this month we're going to have a libra solar eclipse that's going to happen in the, the middle of this month and everything so yeah um i'm super excited you know i'm an aries so i definitely wanted to do a spread to see how this aries full moon is going to affect you guys and also me because you know i'm i'm nosy too <laughs> so let's go ahead and get straight into the reading also if you do enjoy my readings and you love to see my face here on the channel and you want to see future videos from me make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you do enjoy this reading and leave me a comment below okay i love to chat with you guys you guys know we you know kiki have fun on my lives so of course i want to chat with you guys in the comments so leave me a comment below let me know what type of videos you want to see this month how you felt about this forecast um if it was helpful and i will leave any important links that you need like to book a personal reading with me um below all right but let's go ahead and switch the camera around so we can go ahead and get into this juiciness all right scorpios let's see how this aries full moon is going scorpio sun moon rising and venus placement how is this aries full moon going to affect my scorpios this is aries full moon affect my scorpios okay so First card is going to represent where your focus should be. We have the Six of Wands. We also have how you're showing up, represented as the Knight of Pentacles. How Spirit wants you to show up during this Aries full moon, we have the Four of Wands. What needs to be cut out or removed from your energy force field during this Aries full moon, we have the Nine of Pentacles. How this Aries full moon is going to affect you, we have the Four of Cups. The possible challenge you could run into, we have the Crone of Pentacles. What you don't see is the Ten of Swords. And then the Outcome Scorpios, we have the Hierophant. Okay, cool. And then let's pull from here. What is the overall message for my Scorpios for this Aries full moon? Oh, okay. So we have coming to life. So this card is all about emerging from being stuck, stagnant, or literally frozen in time. Like this card says coming to life. So it's like being thawed out, finding your spark again. Okay, a sense of metamorphosis because we do have that butterfly right there if you look real, real close, okay? So whenever I look at butterflies in readings, butterflies in general mean something to me, if you guys know. If you know, you know, okay? Mystical Crystal Tarot started out with a butterfly. That was the, the vision. But uh, with coming to life, this does speak about, like I said, coming out of a cocoon state or coming out of a phase of being frozen and stepping into a sense of metamorphosis after realizing that things have to change. Things have to be done different. Now, let's read this really quick. It says, something beautiful is being born. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now's the time for reverence and awe Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. Ooh, I love this. So this Aries full moon is going to bring you back to life, Scorpios, okay? And you could be, you know, unthawing or 
unthawing, I don't think that's a word. You could be defrosting um, a project or something that you guys were doing in the past that maybe you put off for some time and now you have a chance to get back into it and get back to business. So a perfect time for you guys to revisit old things that you, you know, wanted to do creatively or within your career or even old routines that may have, you know, benefited you. This is the perfect time. But Going deeper, Scorpios, the first card is going to be what you should focus on. And I have the Six of Wands. So what needs your focus is the things that are trying to grab for your attention. This could be your health. Maybe there are certain things that you've noticed around your health that, you know, you, you need to be more cognitive about. Or when it comes to just your overall success, because the Six of Wands does talk about the energy of being successful, of finding your way, of being revered or or loved by others or being in the spotlight okay so i think that there has been clear indications of what needs your focus already it's just dealing with it before it becomes like a bigger thing that you can't necessarily ignore because it's just in your face okay and again like i said your your path of success what needs to happen this is the time where you need to be nurturing your ideas or nurturing your like long-term plans here and making sure you're taking actions that's putting you in the path of success and not taking you further away from progress now going into the second card this is going to represent how you're currently showing up in your life and with the nine of pentacles currently you're trying to rebuild you could be trying to rebuild your finances back up or just trying to save in general. Things may be taking some time, but in things taking time, it's giving you a chance to really see like, hmm, what are my saving habits? What exactly am I doing that could be either hurting or helping me in terms of, you know, your financial situation and whatnot? Okay, also with the Knight of Pentacles, you're just picking up the pieces. I see the Knight of Pentacles as a recovery card, a card of, okay, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's really look at our situation, the, the reality of our situation and see how we can get grounded. And that's what you guys are focusing on. You're definitely trying to get your health in order. You could be recovering from some sort of illness or sickness here. Okay, you could be going to physical therapy if you may have like broken your ankle or had like an accident. Okay, this could even be you guys trying to, you know, work on your relationship with someone. And in you doing this, even though it could be taking some time to reestablish the trust and everything, you could be like seeing clear signs of what needs attention. And now the connection could be stronger than ever because you're, you're building it up correctly. Now, how does spirit want you to show up for your life for the Aries full moon? We have the four of wands here. So they want you to show up. They want you to show up in a way where you're taking in consideration of your foundation. And again, your actions in correlation with your long-term goals. Are you taking actions during this time frame that's Helping or hindering. That's what you want to be asking yourself always and forever beyond just this full moon. But they want you to be moving in a way where your actions make sense. Okay. Also, have fun a little bit too is what I'm getting. Like the Four of Wands does talk about celebration, having fun, connecting with people that genuinely support you. So making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who genuinely have your best interest and not people who you have to question. Now, Scorpios, what do you need to cut out of your life during this full moon in Aries? I have the nine of pentacles. So this could be, this could be a love interest where they don't allow themselves to be emotionally vulnerable and this could manifest as them kind of like being there but treating you as if like you were single or like you guys are not in a relationship because they could be super self-absorbed okay another thing that you may be needing to cut off is maybe an ex I, I see this nine of pentacles here as some of you guys being single and there's still this lingering situation that you may not be in like you're not in a relationship with this person but you kind of wonder about them 
okay? Another thing, certain spending habits, some of you guys could be spending money like you're rich, <laughs> spending money like you're rich, or just needing to have a better saving system in place so that you can have more financial support and not feel like you're on edge in terms of like money and bills. Now, let's move into how this Aries full moon is going to affect you, Scorpios. We have the Four of Cups. So this Aries full moon, it's going to, again, it's going to bring up any uncomfortable feelings that have been buried below the, the surface, within your subconscious, within your heart, right? And this Aries full moon is going to give you a chance to really see what you don't want to carry on doing. So you could blatantly see during this time frame, like, man, I really do need to stop smoking because it's doing X, Y, and Z for me, and it's not helping. Or you could see um, working at a certain job that the longer that you stay there, the longer you could be dissatisfied with what you're getting paid or the treatment there or the work environment to just kind of give you some examples. So this Aries full moon is going to be bringing up any feelings of uncomfortability or allowing you the chance to see your situation from a different point of view and see what you need to remove out of your life. Okay, and we also have that cup that's coming from God here. The four of cups, it's always the three at the bottom and one cup that's being offered to you from God or the universe whatever you believe okay <laughs> but the next card this is going to represent just the possible challenge you could run into and with the corona pinnacles this could be finances uh, or a capricorn taurus or virgo specifically they could be either asking you for money or putting a strain on you energy wise okay if this isn't a earth sign specifically the challenge could be hmm, like having management around like your schedule and just being grounded as a whole. So I would definitely say make sure you're going out into nature, getting out the house, especially if you're self-employed or you just work and come straight home. At least take you like a good hour, hour and a half to go outside. If you don't even have that much time, at least 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. Also, the challenge could be like certain, again, spending habits or financial obligations. This could even be trust issues a little bit. You could be side eyeing somebody and wondering if they're actually trustworthy or feeling that way, like feeling like someone's doing that to you or they're questioning whether or not you're trustworthy. Now, what you don't see with the Ten of Swords there's an end to a version of you that's coming into play. I think after this Aries full moon and even going a little bit further than the Aries full moon, going into the solar eclipse, I think we're about to have in Libra, that could, this could be the start of the end for a version of Scorpio that does not align with who you're becoming. Okay, Ten of Swords, it's like, okay, this version of me has to go. I need to shed this skin and I need to evolve into this person because tens always represent the ending of something. And it starts all over with that one, with the Ace of Swords. So what you may not be seeing is an, an older version of Scorpio is, is dying out. And you're not who you were or you're not going to be <laughs> who you were three months ago, six months ago, or this year going into 2024. And it's all starting from this point. Now, moving into the outcome, I have the Hierophant. So the outcome of this time frame, you could be looking at your you know, belief systems, your overall morals, your overall way that you're operating in life. Okay, you could be getting more in tune with your faith system as well. Whether that you being religious, whether that you being spiritual, whatever it may be, you could be leaning more and more into your faith systems and, and trusting that in the moments where maybe you can't trust anything else, okay? When you can't physically trust your environment, know that the divine is asking you to lean on them. And that's the message with the, the Hierophant. 
So this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. I hope that this was helpful and did give you some insight and that you did enjoy. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see each and every one of my beautiful Scorpios in the next one.